Hi there, welcome back to EDSR Tuts. Just a very quick tutorial on Polyplex and loading your own samples into Polyplex, something I forgot to include in one of the early videos and a couple of people were asking. So in order to do this, what you need to do is go up to this edit button up here, this icon up here, click on that and then this brings up your kind of sample map, sample map editor and stuff like that. These are the samples basically that are playing back in Polyplex. If, like with me here, you can't really see fully what's going on, you need to optimize the screen here. So go to this drop down menu up here, go to view, and if you're on a larger screen, it might not be a problem, but just maybe go to small size, and then you can see exactly all the kind of options you have at the bottom. So, in order to my, load my own samples here, what I need to do is uh, for starters, I'm in kick at the moment. As we discussed in previous tutorials, you have these various different types in your sampler types kick snare clap hi-hat cymbal percussion etc if you go to user you could set up your user type here so this is blank at the moment so what I could do is I've just got some samples here from a sample pack uh, what I could do is drag all of these over so I've just highlighted them all in the folder and I'm dragging them over and I can drag them over into this sample map editor area here to the right and you can see it's mapping each sample to a couple of different keys there. If you click and drag, well, keep in hold of the, uh, before you've dropped them off, drag down and you can actually map them to individual keys there or drag up and the zone where you're mapping the sample to increases and then it will affect the pitch as well. So you could drag right down and then as much as you can go. So there we're just ap applying one sample to one key drop that in and I've not gotten all the way down the keyboard there so you could drag a few more in to fill up the keyboard or 127 slots drag a few more samples in okay so we've mapped these samples across the keyboard here in the user settings click that edit button and then we go to this first pad here another cool trick I've just discovered is right clicking with your mouse you can quite quickly solo samplers like that so just right click there and I just soloed this top sampler and then I could right click again and solo that third sampler uh, you can also right click to reset values so I could right click there reset the samples so if I'm messing around with the pitch uh, right click just quickly reset the pitch so that's quite a cool little tool so we could go to this top sampler here go to user and then you will now hear if I play this about all the kick drums I loaded into that user uh, category there it's playing all of those back as I scroll up and down might not sound quite right, I might have a few effects on here, so turn these off so you hear the sample properly reset all of this values here, so go back into main and yeah, take that start off and you'll hear the samples properly now, so scroll up and down all 127 kicks what I loaded in there so that's that's how we set up a user, we only seem to have one user option so be nice to have a couple of different users and then you could set up different user sample maps kicks claps and what have you uh, another cool thing is once you set up a user like we have done there with these kicks you can actually start including this in the randomizations by default it is off I click this icon here and I can actually turn user on now so when you start randomizing the types in here user will be included previously it wouldn't be included because it would be an empty sample map but now it's being included so that's pretty cool another thing I wanted to show you was not just loading your own samples but load, kind of saving an ensemble with your own samples because we only seem to get one user slot what would be cool is to have a polyplex ensemble saved with all our own samples loaded in so quickly show you how to do that here so say in this first pad we wanted to load some kicks in here. We go back to this edit here, and this is the kick. Kind of these are all the samples associated with the kick type in the sampler. So these are 
polyplex or twisted tool samples that they've kind of like that come with poly polyplex but we could actually remove these here it's not going to affect the preset or the kind of save samples or anything we're not deleting them from from polyplex we're just kind of creating our own settings here so delete all of those and load in our own kick drums in there as we did previously so we have all our kicks now in this uh, kick setting click on the edit button and now these kicks what are playing back these are the kicks that I've just loaded in so we could now go over to say the snare and uh, go to this drop down menu snare clap highlight all of these remove them click OK and then go to uh, load in our own snares into this sample map editor here as we did previously so and then click that edit button again so now solo this all of these to reset that pitch these are all the snares and claps that I've just loaded in and one thing I noticed was so what you could do is go along here kicks, snares hi-hats and just load in all your own samples along these eight pads or within these kind of hitting the edit button and you know loading up hi-hat and then loading in your own hi-hats then what you need to do is I noticed if you go file and save preset as it will save all the settings that you apply in polyplex but it won't save those sample map edits that we've just done so what you need to do is save another ensemble so if I go file save ensemble copy as because I don't want to write over the initial ensemble the polyplex ensemble I don't want to mess around with that and save ensemble copy as and save it as my own drums or something like that whatever you want to save it as and by default it will go into the user ensemble section might take a second or two to save it so now we're going to user here my own drums and so when I load this don't save and changes to polyplex ensemble load this it will load those settings that I had there with my own kick drums my own snares and claps and hi-hats and stuff like that so that's a pretty cool way of working with polyplex if you want to use your own drum sounds in there so going to edit here you can see these are all the samples that I loaded in myself there these aren't the polyplex samples so it's kind of saved all of those so um, and then you can just go about editing your own drum sounds so a couple of people were asking about loading your own drum samples into polyplex and uh, so hopefully that's cleared that up for you alright any questions please get in touch and thanks for watching cheers